Hi all, welcome to Coding World. Today in this brand new tutorial, we are going to learn about how to deploy Angular application and Spring Boot application on dedicated Tomcat server. So whenever we start programming in Spring Boot, Spring Boot already provide MDA Tomcat server. So we no need to install separately our Spring Boot application on Tomcat. So today we are going to learn about how to remove that MDA server from the Tomcat app Spring Boot application and deploy that Spring Boot application on the dedicated Tomcat. So for that we will create a sample Spring Boot application and Angular application and we will try to deploy Spring Boot application on Tomcat and that after de deploying Spring Boot application we will copy that URL and use as a server URL in an Angular application. Currently, Angular application directly pointing to the Spring Boot application which is running on the MDAD Tomcat server. So, we are uh, removing that dependency and both Angular project and Spring Boot project we are deploying on same Tomcat server. And we will redirect our uh, all the Angular server side APIs to the Spring Boot application which is deployed on the same Tomcat. So for this, we will cover uh, three main steps. So we are following three steps in this process. Like first team is first step is uh, to remove MDAT server from the Spring Boot application. Second, deploy war of Spring Boot application on Tomcat because default packaging of the Spring Boot application is a Tom is a jar so we will remove jar and will keep as a war and third step is like change the server url for angular project with a deployed spring boot application and then deploy our angular project on the same tomcat these are the three steps we are following and so simply uploading all our full stack application on the dedicated tomcat so let's jump to the our uh, first step to remove MDAT server from the Spring Boot. So this is my Spring Boot application where we have product controller. In that product controller we have one gate method which is hello post method and gate method. So when we deploy that application on Apache Tomcat we will hit that URL and we will check is the our Spring Boot application is hosted properly or not. So I will jump to the my pom.xml. Here we need to do some basic changes. Like currently we have MDAT server. So we need to remove that by adding one dependency which is this. Like here I am adding one dependency which is a Spring Boot Starter Tomcat and scope is provided. Now as I told default packaging, packaging of Spring Boot application is a jar. So we will convert it into war. So add this packaging below this description. Now we have converted packaging of a Spring Boot application to the war. So let's build this application and check that war is generating or not. So I will open this location. So this is my Spring Boot application location. Here I am opening my git bash and I will try to run my maven package command. Maven clean install. This also will create war file or if you run the maven clean package that will also create 
four five. So it will take time. So we have success successfully built hero code demo snapshot war. So let's copy this war and deploy into our Tomcat. This is my Tomcat web apps folder. I am going to paste my war here. So war is automatically extracted because my Tomcat is running and our hero code demo demo folder is created. Let's copy this name and try to open on UI. Let's open any browser. You I mean I mean to open any browser and hit the your first gate API. If it's working, then you have successfully deployed your Spring Boot application on Tomcat. Local host eight zero eight zero. So this is my Tomcat. I will paste my URL here and we'll test our hello is working or not. So let's hello. Yeah, I am getting some error. Let me check this. So I am facing this issue because my main class, Spring Boot main class, is not extending servlet initializer. So for that, we need to extend our main class, but by servlet initializer, and then we need to build again or and we'll deploy here. Let's jump to our Spring Boot application here. Our main Hiro Hiroku demo extend. Servlet. Outlet web initializer. One more class is there, which is Spring Boot Outlet initializer. So let's build again. It, it will take some time. So our project has been built successfully. Let's jump to the, our folder and copy that generated demo file. So I will copy this Hiroko demo war file and will deploy into Tomcat web apps. So I am copying here and pasting into web apps and restart my Spring Boot app. Restart my Tomcat. So in Beam, I'm going. Already, I have command prompt open. So let's start. My Spring Boot is started. We will see that in web apps, that war should be extracted. Yes, we have war extracted. Let's check that on our browser. Our Hello API is working or not. 
So Tomcat has deployed successfully our Spring Boot application on 8080. So if you hit localhost 8080, here go my demo project and hello, it's showing hello coding world. That means we have successfully deployed our Spring Boot application on dedicated Tomcat. So we have completed two steps like uh, uh, removing the MDAT server from the Tomcat application, from the Spring Boot application and deploy on dedicated application. Now our third step is that to give this reference to the, our Angular project and change the server URL and point to this deployed Spring Boot application. So let's jump to that and change the server of the our Spring Boot application. So our next step is uh, to give our server URL in your UI. So I have a Heroku UI demo. So there was a uh, one session on Heroku deployment where I have created Angular project and Spring Boot application and deployed that successfully on the Heroku. If you guys want to learn about the free deployment, you can check out my course, which is available on YouTube. I will provide that link in corner and it will be pasted in our comment section. You can copy from that uh, description and you will able to get that. Please visit. It is a nice course. So uh, in Angular, we have two properties like uh, prod properties and our normal development properties. In prod properties, I have server URL. So I will replace that URL with our Tomcat server URL and we'll check out, we'll hit our backend services and we'll check. So let's copy our backend uh, server URL, base URL. So this is my deployed backend service. So I will paste here my base URL. This is my base. Let's build our Angular project in pod version, in pod mode and we'll deploy that created destination folder into our Tomcat. So npm build hyphen hyphen prod or ng build. It will take few seconds and once that our build is ready, we will deploy that on Apache pod, Apache Tomcat server. So wait for few seconds. So we have successfully built our Angular project in pod work, production version. So there will be one folder distant destination in your demo UI project. So here we have got the our compressed and minimum minimized UI, UI files. So we will copy this. Now we will copy this uh, Heroku UI uh, demo project and we'll paste into our Tomcat server. perhaps. I will paste it here. So I have successfully pasted. Now I will open my Tomcat server and will launch UI. In bin, I will open CMD here. Let's run startup command. Yes. Tomcat is running. So it will take some time to launch all our deployed application in web apps. Once all application started running, we will test our UI is working properly or not. So if you hit Heroku UI demo slash index dot 
HTML. So it is giving me 404 because if styles, so he is not able to relocate styles because if you see that that uh, URL it is hitting is 800 slash styles.com styles.css okay so from this we get to know that we are this URL will not containing our application name now we have to check that in index.html we have base href that base href is currently empty like a rooty that's why it's not considering any our application name so we will copy our application and will update index file now i'm updating our index file we'll save it let me rerun it again yeah, i think we need to restart the application So there was problem in our base HRF. I have corrected that by putting our application name. You can see here base HRF. Hiroko. Let's build this. I have already built with a production and deploy now Tomcat. I have deployed it here. Hiroko. UI demo. Let's open our localhost colon 8080 slash our application name. I'll copy it from here. If you paste, it should open our application. Yeah. So this is data from the DB and this is the UI from the Angular. UI project. So we have successfully installed and deployed our Angular application and Spring Boot application on Tomcat. This is the process I have explained from each and every steps. You can go through that and you can deploy your application successfully on dedicated Tomcat server. So this is for the, this uh, tutorial, short tutorial. You can, if you want any topic, you can uh mail me or in cap you can ping in comment box please if you like such type of video please like and subscribe my channel thank you